My penis? <laughs> I tell them that the mics are on. <laughs> Seconds before they go on and uh, it means nothing. We've got some giveaways, don't we, Kaj? Yep. Okay, so we've got two or double... Or something. Or something. We've got two double passes to Paco Ehard's uh, ex-German. Now, we had Paco on the show last year. Oh. Yeah, um, he was really, really good. And his show is... I'll just give you the rundown. Uh, Paco Ehard is German, but he has other problems too. Sick of nations, corporations, religions, and media constantly trying to push our buttons. The globe-trotting comedian takes a stand. Is a German allowed? Dangerous thought. Maz? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the show is... What? Tomorrow at 10 45 I'm just PM. Give me a drink. You guys just keep oh, it. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, we've got two double passes, like I said, and basically with this one, I think I'm going to throw this one open to our Facebook and Twitter crowd. So mm. I'll make sure I retweet and Facebook for people that can't actually see it now. But make sure you get on there and pretty much say, Hi, I want tickets, and that's all good. Now, you. <laughs> well, my next line was back to you, Chong, but uh, back to you, Chong. Yes. Welcome back to Festival yeah. Fishbowl. This uh, <laughs> sweet ass thing of technology. Uh, you're Neil Sinclair. Yes. Correct. Good work. Well, tell us, tell us about you. You're a, so you're a comedian. Is, is there everyone? No, no, everyone's a comedian. Yes, everyone's a comedian today, right? Yeah. Totally yeah. sweet. Well, yeah. and you are as well. Well, at times. Yeah. Uh, tell us about what, what you're doing here. This is your first Fringe too, right? Yeah, yeah. My first Adelaide Fringe. I'm um, doing a show about lying called Phony. Neil Sinclair's Phony. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you lie a lot? Uh, uh, well, yeah. I think everyone lies a lot. I, and I've gone if I teach you how to lie and how to spot a liar in the show. <gasps> oh, sweet. Yeah, so it's well worth going to. Okay, and now is this based on fact or just what your mates say? Yeah, yeah, no, so facts. Yeah, I've been, like, been looking into it, Googling everything and reading books. Oh. Yeah, like the old days. Um, <laughs> watching TED Talks. Yes! Yeah. TED Talks are wicked. Yeah. yeah, we had one TED fanatic in the <laughs> two. I'm not going to keep doing that, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, these, these are the fringe shows that I freaking love, the ones that you go, uh, like that you kind of learn something and it's something vaguely related to me if you ever needed to be a spy yeah yeah, yeah. obviously that's yes. what i do actually there was one years ago that it was an asio spy who became a comedian and he just told us he, he told us how to how to shake a tail if you think you're being followed you slow down because oh, wow. they can't slow down with you yeah they, just they have to keep they have to keep you. walking past yeah so um, it's like the anim nab of comedy i don't know what that is oh, okay it's the sas guy now writes oh, books okay right yes yeah. you know i did you know, yeah. i'm stupid right yeah. so tell us how to well like uh, do you watch a lot of lie to me um i did start watching lie to me okay. yeah it's great um <laughs> because they keep on i mean the storylines are terrible mm. it's like america in mm. the end uh but they do kind of slow it down and say oh this is happening on their face and then they show you all the famous people and stuff um yeah, I can't do that. I don't have that technology. But I do okay. kind of like show you what to look out for and uh, yeah. Is it something you'd be willing to share with us now? Or is it uh, one of those, if you come to the show, you'll find out? Um, I can tell you Give if you- Give us a little I just can that. I can tell you if you'd be a good liar. Okay. All right, draw a cue on your forehead. Like with my actual face, hands? With your, with your finger, not a pen or anything. Just a, okay. uh, yeah. No, no, on your, uh, just on your forehead. Oh. All right, <laughs> so you would be a rubbish liar. Yeah, yours was yeah. backwards. Yeah, because you drew the cue, you put it onto your right hand eyebrow. So you did it yeah. so that you would see it. You don't have self-monitoring. Like if you did it on your left hand eyebrow, then you obviously know what people, how, how they see you. So you can lie to them really, really well. Wow. Yeah. See, stuff, that is a, stuff like that. that you can, they can pick up all those kind of tips at my show. Yeah. yeah. So have, has this show made you a better liar? Um, it's made me, I can catch myself out when I lie now. Yeah. Like I can, I can feel myself doing all of the things that you do when you lie in my body and all mm. the words I'm saying. You kind of, sometimes they look into the top corner if you lie. Oh, that's, that, I, I, that had, I had a look at that and people yeah. say that's not really a thing. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a lot of things that people think like liars do that mm. they don't do. Like they don't hold, like people think liars can't hold eye contact, mm. but they do for an uncomfortable amount of time. Oh, yeah. right. So it's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to go against it. Mm. Yeah. Man, it sounds like you're, you're like giving us some yes and whatever. It sounds like you're, oh yeah, oh no, it's just so something some you're of those, interested in. Some of those myths about the lies, like the, uh, it's it's kind of what um, drunk ladies used to say to me. Oh, you're lying because you're doing this, 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 this. this. Drunk oh, ladies? Yeah. How many drunk ladies have you lied so, to? When you say drunk ladies, I kind of picture middle-aged women drinking Chardonnay, yeah. and you're lying to them. Well, <laughs> you're like trying to get into their inheritance or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yes? No? Good, good chat. Yeah. Oh, that was a that was a visual gag. Is your monitor off? Again? No, it's off. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Technology, right? Uh, cool, man. So, have you started your show yet? 
Yeah, yeah, started about a week and a half ago. Okay, and people people enjoying? Yeah, yeah, people are liking it. Uh, I'm liking it. It's a good show. And uh, people coming, they're laughing through it. And so that's yes. that's so a clear sign. You can't be excellent that. liars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just really good. They're just like, we've got to really impress this guy. <laughs> he will see straight through us. So, how, as, as a first time fringer yeah. um, who doesn't have a TV show, yeah. how are you getting people to your show? Yeah, that's a really good question. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, working really hard, like flyering a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, that's. Everyone's going to do that. I had a good uh, person design my poster, so my oh. poster's quite eye catchy. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, just just a lot of flyering. And okay. being on this, yeah, this is definitely going to get is... me sold out for the rest of the. That's why I was told. I can only that's... guarantee that. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you I get to. A... Oh, did I uh, draw a cue yeah. on my phone? <laughs> yeah. So, um, as as someone who's meeting a lot of South Australians at the moment. Yeah. Because you're talking, are you finding them nice or extremely rude and throwing your flies away? Oh, look, they can be quite, um, like in the shows, uh, I've been doing a few other like, <coughs> excuse me, best of British type shows. Yeah. And they can be a little bit like, oh, we're having a conversation now. So, uh, okay, <laughs> um, all right, we could go with that for a while. And then I say something like, oh, I'm going to move on. And everyone's like, why? <laughs> oh, I had some jokes. I was gonna. Okay, well, let's have the chat. So yeah, I found them a bit, a bit chatty. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's in the. Yeah, right. So, so, but people on the street are they generally okay? Uh, You've got an accent, so I guess you can break the ice. Yeah, a bit. yeah, yeah. That's quite. You know. Hi, I'm from England. Ooh, and that gives you two yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's exactly what happens. Then you though. just got to get the hell out of there in two minutes before they figure you out. Yeah. <laughs> like, you've got to choose your accent though. Like you've got to quite a like uh, Adelaide would like your accent. If you had like an Indian accent. Yeah, like, and you're like, "Hello, can I have a minute of your time?" They would probably hang up on you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, it's a little. Uh, yeah, little. Oh, right. I, okay. Yeah, I saw. Right, the, I, I saw this guy who was. Uh, he looked like a friend of mine, but my friend was Asian. This guy was Asian. I was like, "Oh, that guy looks oh. like my friend." It's like, "Oh, am I being racist now?" Because, but it's the features. This is something is. I've been struggling with. Yeah. Because I was at a gig once, and there was a drunk woman in the front, and at the end of the, at the end of the thing, she just, she said, "Do you need requests?" And I was like, it was a good gig, and I was like, oh, I'm about to, because I figured she'd see me before I was about to do my clothes, and I'm like, yeah. well, uh, yes, but it'll happen, just shut up. And she's like, you know, because I'm like, what do you want? And she goes, Gangnam Style, right? And I was like, you want me to do Gangnam Style? And this is like a, a thing for 200 mums, and they went, yeah! <laughs> and that's all they wanted as soon as they saw me, and I was thinking that was racist, but then I was thinking, no, I genuinely look like a Korean dude. Yeah. So I don't think it's racist. I don't think you... you, you Can don't... you do Gangnam Style? I, I did it for them. Because they were so drunk, and two hundred drunk women, it's fucking how you, you do what you do what they say. Ask the man over there when he's talking to his drunk moon. <laughs> yeah, he'll know. How did you do it? Well, I said I'm not doing it, and they all booed me. And I said I'm not doing it, and they all booed me. I said I'm not doing it unless someone gives me sunglasses, right? Oh yeah. And so people are ripping sunglasses <laughs> out of their thing, and then I'm like, and I don't have the music. And from the back, you hear this woman go, <laughs> and she runs towards the stage, and she goes, I got it on my iPod. And she'd bought the song, so they did it. And <laughs> Hello? I've got sunglasses. Scream and run oh, towards the stage. Um, Cage, can you uh, go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> You're very racist. Right. Um, hey, uh, Neil, we, I'm going to do a... We've got, we got one more thing to do with you. It's a, it's a game of puns, and I've seen your stuff before. Yeah? Some of you do great puns. Some, uh, 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 is, that, is that a rude thing to say? No, I love puns. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. That's, great. Why, that's yeah. why I say this for you. All right, so, on. this is... Uh, it's, a, it's ten questions. Yeah. Uh, but they're all under one category. It's a category quiz, right? And uh, today, all your thing, all the all the answers are also forms of exercise. Okay. okay. Obviously, I know a lot about exercise. And yeah, I am you? also yeah. going to play. Okay, you can play because right. you don't think he knows enough about exercise. No, so there I are just ways, like this game. Ways you can oh. keep fit. Okay, so okay. you're playing against Maz now, so you've got to get in before him. All right. Cool. Okay, so this is an easy one to start with. Uh, it's the classic prank call: Is your refrigerator? Running. Okay, good. Right. Ah. One nil. Yeah. Well, warm up question. Right. This, these nil. were all written by my wife, so I'm seeing them for the first time too. So uh, this one's a bit more cryptic. Brick divider monarch. Um, cement. No. no. It's uh, a brick divider. Brick divider. Yes. What's that stuff in between the concrete? No. no. So a brick, like like one of them. What would that be called? Tree. No, that's not a tree. What is it? <laughs> a, no, the thing next to it. Thing made of bricks. Wall. Yes. And then a type of monarch? Um, walking. Yes, walking. Okay. walking. Okay, I get it. It's oh, like walking. a cryptic crossword. We're in. Like, yes. Cryptic yes. crossword, I stupid. get it. I know what's going on. Okay, this one we've actually just touched on before. All right. Dispensable plastic to keep your Gangnam style fresh. Um, Dispensable plastic. What's a plastic you 
You just going to throw away. Uh, a pen? A, 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 a thing that's made of plastic or a type of plastic? A type of plastic. I don't know any type of plastic. What's a type of plastic? I, um, PVC. No, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll give, we had an alternate one. Sticking together after Gangnam Style. Sticking together. Glue dance. Almost. Uh, Not even close. <laughs> no, not even close. Um, okay, so who, who did uh, Gangnam Style? Psy. Psy, ah, yes. oh, yeah, okay. And just stick together? Blue Psy. No! <laughs> Cycle! Cy so close! Cy Cycling! 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 Yay. One for Vic Healy. Cycling. Cycling. Oh. Alright, I'm not going to blame wow. the questions. But... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's an easy one. Put Go. a marketing bullshit onto a product. Usual thing done in the world. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's how you keep fit. Yeah. Maz, <laughs> what is, what's it called? Marketing... <sighs> Spiel? Oh, so close. Um, spin yes. cycle. Spin, no, spin, spin, spin. Spin cycle's about washing machines. That's different. Again. Okay, All yeah. right. What does time do for no man? Wait. Yes. Okay, yeah. wait. Wait. Oh, wait. As I thought you were. Oh, yes. Come on, yeah. get into it. Uh, pumpkins and zucchinis are a type of these. Or should Vegetable? I say aubergines? Aubergines. No, zucchinis are, are courgettes. They? Courgettes. Yeah. Oh. Um, roots. No. Just to let you know, I've stopped playing this game. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but they're vegetables, they're roots, they're root vegetables. Seeds. Planting. What is this planting? Shoving. Pushing down. Making weird noises. Squash! Yes! Squash! squash. Ah. This is the most it's physical one demanding all. quiz I've ever done. <laughs> oh, you'll love this one. To hit a woman. <laughs> um, I don't know why he Beat. Um, no. Abuse. Uh, <laughs> Wrong, um, uh, Chris Rock. <laughs> That's what I said when she told me. <laughs> it's Chris Brown. Oh, Brown. Too. Oh, I, don't, I don't know anything about exercise or rap. That's, you've, you've got me on two things here. It looks like you know heaps about both of them. Yeah. Um, uh, what about, uh, like, what was that one? You can't no, I'm going to give you an alternate one. All right, cool. Cotton foot coverings. Slipper. Oh, close. Um, sock. Sock. So to hit a woman is to? Sock. A woman. <laughs> Soccer punch. Soccer. Soccer. So yeah. Soccer. Soccer. Ah, we call it football. Well, you might have ruined the next one. Okay. What? Twelve inches of boiled leaves. Football. Foot. Boiled. Tea. Foot tea. Yes. Foot tea. Foot. Yeah. Good lord. Okay. A surprise so noise. Can we just do the dummy thing? There's the two more. Thing? Shut up. No. Surprise noise and a small stone fruit. Pop peach. That's almost what I said. Almost. Surprise noise. Shock. Uh, Bang. Gas. Ah. Uh, Gas. Uh, and then a small uh, stone fruit. The little one you have them at Christmas. Apric apricot. Oh, no. apricot. No, yeah, you have them at, you have them at Christmas uh, in Australia. Peach, we, uh, peaches. Cherries. Oh, cherry. Ah, cherry. Belinda gets a point. Ah, oh, cherry. Oh. Good sounds, lord. Sounds like a, a northern lady calling a daughter. Come here, ah, cherry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. Right. Thanks. The last one. Thank fuck. Uh, earthworm. <laughs> <laughs> earthworm poo. Jim. Jim! Nice. Ah, uh, uh, these are getting, again questions. I think what's happening, and this is not your fault, these are getting harder to write. Yeah. Because we were like, oh, let's do types of meat, and there was heaps of them, and now we're doing exercise. Yeah. And most comedians don't know much about exercise. I'd have got types of meat, like, like steak. Yeah, that was yeah. the first one. Sausage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jay Yeah, hi. Apparently, <laughs> Neil needs to perform. No, he no. doesn't. No, that was, oh. a, that was a mistake from Danny's, our producer's behalf, oh, okay. apparently, yeah. He doesn't need to perform. Look at him. He's was that not a good enough performance for yeah. you? He got like two out of ten. <laughs> but they were two good ones though. They were. They, they were the two best good ones. ones. They were yeah. the ones I would have chosen. Yeah. Plug your show, man. Oh, um, I brought my flyer up as oh, well. Cool. Like, here we go. Um, I don't forget. Uh, is that a onesie? Yeah, yeah, dinosaur onesie. Oh, sweet. Um, there's a onesie party. Are you going to wear that on Thursday? You know there's a onesie party on Thursday in the garden? I did not know that, but I am going to go there now. Uh, um, I bought a onesie in uh, in Japan. A pedo bear onesie. I found one. Wow. Yeah. A what? Pedo you heard me. Pedo, pedo bear. bear. Is that is that for a bike? No. <laughs> it's about touching kids. So my show um, <laughs> isn't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the internet knows what pedo bear is. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's called Phony. Um, it's at the Austral at 7:15 uh, until the second of March. You should come see it. <laughs> awesome. Please thank Neil Sinclair, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Back soon.